So for more insight on what this delay might mean for the Kavanaugh confirmation process, let's bring in our Supreme Court panel, Sonia Osorio, president of the National Organization for Women of New York, and former federal prosecutor David Katz. Thanks, both of you, for being here. Is this, Thanks for inviting me. Is this David, a, a, a chance for emotions to cool a little bit? I mean, we had some, some gripping testimony uh, from both sides in front of the Senate committee this week. Well, I agree with everything you just said. It was a gripping week, um, but it was also divisive, polarizing testimony. I think it was very therapeutic in a lot of ways, but I think it would be good if everyone stepped back, calmed down, and especially, you know, let this testimony be light and insight and not just heat thrown back and forth. And so hopefully there'll be a more uh, conscientious, deliberated decision. You know, the Senate's supposed to be the great deliberative body. This will give them a chance to, uh, to, 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 to deliberate. And also, there may be something that comes out of the investigation. I agree with your other guests that they may make a lot of progress. I used to work with the FBI all the time when I was in the Reagan administration. I was an assistant U.S. attorney working with them. They're consummate professionals. Um, and you always have a good feeling, even when you're on the other side like I am now, you have a good feeling toward them because they're conscientious. They're trying to do their job. They're trying to get these reports right. And they may make a lot of progress with people like Mark Judge and others. Sonia, is it, is it your hope that the FBI uh, report will, will shed some light on the accusations that, that face Judge Kavanaugh? I mean, if, there, if the FBI uh, finds that there is no corroborative evidence or you know, nothing to support the accusations, would you support Judge Kavanaugh to be appointed to the Supreme Court? Well, there well, are I two issues. We shouldn't so I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, this is for Sonia, I'm sorry. Well, I agree with, um, with Mr. Katz. I am so glad that we have this extra time now, uh, an independent body that can take a look at uh, trying to just uh, drill down a little bit more. And since there are some witnesses from that time period, um, that we will get some more information and hopefully that will shed some more light so that we can understand a little bit better what happened. Every, everything we've read so far from those witnesses is that they, they cannot recall any such party that they you know have not they have no recollection of this event having taken place you, you think the FBI investigation might change that absolutely because they're professionals they're used to doing this they there's a big difference between sitting down uh, and signing an affidavit saying I don't remember this and sitting down and having a conversation with professionals who can uh, you know ask the right questions to to create that timeline um, and fill in the gaps. Uh, David, as a former federal prosecutor, I'm sure you watched um, uh, the grilling that Dr. Christine Blasey Ford took, as well as, as Judge Kavanaugh uh, on the Hill. Did, did one seem more truthful than the other to you, or is it still a toss-up in your view? Well, I watched it with fascination and also with a lot of uh, sympathy, obviously, for both sides. I, I do think that the most two significant things were what a credible uh, impression Dr. Ford made, how difficult that was. And I thought that she came across as a straight shooter who was just trying to uh, describe an, an, an old and still very painful event for her. And I thought that uh, Judge Kavanaugh, while he was articulate, I thought he was a little over the top. And I do think that there are fair temperament issues that can be raised, not because of what he did 35 years ago, allegedly, but because of what we all saw a day or two ago. Having said that, I, I agree very much with your other guests that I think the FBI may find some stuff that will change a whole lot of people's minds because I've been in these investigations on both sides. And let me just give you one example. Mark Judge might not want to talk to them and go through all the details. It's one thing to have prepared with a friendly questioner and to have prepared with his own lawyer. It's quite another thing when two FBI agents show up. One of them may be recording the conversation. Even if they're not recording, there'll be two of them. The partner will be, the one who's not the lead questioner, will be writing what's called a 302, a detailed report of everything the judge says. And if they get to a question where judge says, I don't want to answer, or his lawyer says, I'm advising him not to answer, there's still the power of subpoena. There's a whole Mark. procedural question of whether it would have to be returned from the entire Senate back to the committee. But they certainly have the power at that point to subpoena judge. 
So he has a very strong reason not to find fault with the questions, but to really answer them. And when they ask him, do you have any documents to try to lead the investigators to documents? Once you have documents, they may tell a very different story, just like Mark. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh has his old calendars, remember, from 35 years ago, right. and they shed some light. Mark Judge, not to confuse the issue, but he is the friend of Kavanaugh, who was said to be in the room. He says he doesn't remember any such thing having happened. Uh, very quickly, Sonia, um, what do you expect will come out of the process in the week ahead? It's impossible for, for me to know or any of us to know. And I think that's one of the, the great things that have come out of this week is that we're all just speculating. And as Mr. Katz has said, both of them were compelling uh, when they gave their testimony. So hopefully this will shed more light on what happened 36 years ago. The character... If anything. It... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. I didn't mean to... Uh, the, the character of... Um, of Brett Kavanaugh, um, as Mr. Katz said, you know, there are some questions that have now arisen from his testimony, um, his demeanor, and he was very, very partisan um, in his testimony. And that is now another issue that has been raised. Um, judges are supposed to be impartial, and it was quite shocking to see him talk about a left wing conspiracy and the Clintons um, and these this whole other, uh, the left side, mm. ruining his life. It's, uh, we're in for an interesting <laughs> week. I, I hope uh, that the whole country can cool down a little bit yes. because uh, uh, tempers are awfully high on both sides. Sonia Osorio, Osorio, I'm sorry, from the National Organization of Women, uh, for Women of yes. New York, and David Katz, former federal prosecutor. Thank you both.